Welcome back to another video in my discussion series on coronavirus. Please make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell because if you don't hit the bell, you can be notified when <laughs> I upload and you don't want to miss out on that, right? First people to comment will get a shout out in our videos. COVID-19, COVID aka coronavirus, aka the zombie apocalypse virus 19, that's what we named it. Andrew Strong, H.J. activist, and I run an organization with my best friend and my husband called Hyperemesis Gravid Arm before, during, the aftermath. Due to this pandemic, okay, and we don't have a lot of research, we don't, we don't have a lot of data and that's scary. Okay, let's get down to it. You're here to see this for a reason, so on to the video. Okay, so coronavirus, right, and Hyperemesis Gravid Arm, and even pregnancy in general, you have to realize automatically you are a higher risk to get COVID. And patients go into the hospital, negative testing, but they pick it up in the hospital. And even before this pandemic, I always wore face masks, I wore disposable gloves, everything. People thought I was weird and crazy. And I'm like, you just wait one day, you'll see, you'll understand. My bone marrow biopsy journey. I even said, you know, I always bring a mask. I wish others would wear one. One day the world will understand why it's so important to wear a mask. I always wear my mask because of being a germaphobe and that's the one thing that saved my life. You get pregnant, all right? Your immune system automatically is compromised. Practicing medicine is based on scientific facts, okay? And if we don't have scientific facts to go by, they're not gonna believe it, they're not gonna take it seriously, but we don't have enough data on this. I'm gonna share with you guys like my top, top suggestions on how to protect yourselves, okay? Um, it's very important to know that this is deadly. It's even killing healthy people. This is what's scary, okay? All right. Do not touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth, okay? And you have to, I'm going to show you guys properly how to put a mask on, okay? Alright. So you guys can also buy face shield too. I mean, I wear my current. Alright, so I put the mask on. Okay. You want to hold it by the ears like this. You do not want to touch this part. So, you're going to take it like this, okay? Around your ears. Okay, and then you're gonna pull it up on the bridge of your nose. Pinch like that, okay? This is how you put a mask on. Now, you have to remember, this does nothing. You might as well not wear a dang mask. Hey, H.G. Piggy, and I endorse this message. Cover your piggy nose. Around people, and I need to dispose of my mask or take it off from it. You do not grab the front of this for the life of me. You take and you take the mask off like that. Do not touch this part. And make sure you throw away your disposables. Do not save these, okay? Do not save these. Don't do it. I know you want to do it. I know you're doing it. Comment below if you do it. I want to hear. Come on. How many of you guys have reused your mask? Like Same thing applies for cloth masks, by the way. Oh, you want, as soon as you walk out your door, you assume, you as soon as you walk out your door, you assume everybody is positive. You know? Stay away from me. Straight up. You're disrespecting my bubble, you know? Don't be scared to challenge that authority. No. It's important if you are sick, even during hyperemesis, to have a emergency bracelet, okay? Mine just says, my name is just our Andrew Strong. And it's important with any illness to have an emergency bracelet on you. List your most important health conditions first. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, slam that like button, personalize it and I'll see you guys in the next video.
make sure to comment below.